Hey everyone, this is uh, Rob from Top Career Consulting, and on this channel I describe exactly how I established myself as a freelance writer and digital marketer, um, and the tips and tricks that I learned along the way. So if that's something that interests you, please stick around as we continuously talk about SEO content and how to better yourself as a freelancer online. So I've broken this information down into small bite-sized chunks so it's nice and easy to watch these videos and then turn around and utilize it in your practice uh, to advance your careers. So before we get started, if this is something that interests you, please hit the subscribe button down below, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment. I really want to know what you guys are interested in, what you are struggling with, and how we can make some videos that will allow you to push forward and help your clients succeed. Today we're going to talk about revisiting and refining the keyword list that you're utilizing for your SEO content. So this really should be the final step in your keyword research process. Your list of keywords is not a static document. You should fine tune your list on a regular basis as you learn more about your audience's search intent. So really keyword research is not a one-time activity. It's an act of constant revision and research with the ultimate goal of connecting with your audience. So today let's discuss three easy ways to refine your list of keywords. So first, analyze search trends. Search trends are always changing. Your keywords need to change with search trends to stay relevant. New keywords may arise with market changes or current events. Other keywords may become obsolete or fall out of popularity. Google Trends is a great tool to use when trying to identify search trends. Having a pulse on what people are searching will give you leverage to your SEO strategy. Capitalizing on a search trend can boot your site traffic and overall brand awareness. So number two is considering commercial intent. When refining your keyword list, consider commercial intent. How are people thinking when they're trying to make a purchase? What are the search words used by people who are ready to buy something? What keywords are you already using that are leading to conversions? These keywords are what you should be focusing on because ultimately it will lead to sales or increased traffic. Number three is keyword grouping. Keyword grouping is the process of organizing your keywords into related clusters. So why is this really beneficial? There's so many search terms that have the same intent. Consider the search terms pizza near me or local pizza shops. If you optimize your pages for one of those keyword phrases and not the other, they're gonna miss out on a lot of traffic that you could really be gaining to your website. Optimizing for both search terms will allow you to have a larger target audience and drive more traffic to your site. So really to summarize, keyword research is a continuous ongoing process. Revisiting your keyword lists at least quarterly will help you get the most out of your SEO efforts. This will increase the organic traffic to your website and improve your conversion rate. So that's gonna be it for today. And as always, if this information interests you, please again, subscribe down below, hit the bell notification so you always receive my new videos once I send them out. Please drop a like drop a comment. I really want to know what you guys want to hear. And thank you so much for being a part of this journey and have a great day.